Okay, Jeep is up in the air like usual. Um, I'm about to remove the oil pan. I took the box from the new gasket. I traced it out, drew all the holes. I poke holes with the screwdrivers at the points where the bolts go. And then I just remove each bolt, stick them right in their place so you don't mix anything up. The skinny end goes on the back, the fat end of the oil pan goes on the front. And we're just gonna cruise around and drop this thing out of here. I drained all the oil first. Okay, the whole pan is off. I prob I might have showed that. Actually, I probably didn't. But here is the new oil pump. I pulled the tube out of the old one. It's sitting over there. I pulled it apart. It, I mean, I don't know. There was a ton of sludge in the pickup and a ton of sludge in the bottom of the pan. So I don't know that the oil pump was an issue or there might be a bunch of sludge in the oil passages of the engine because it was sitting for a while. We'll figure that one out. But basically, um, that's the new oil pump. It's really straightforward. Yeah, to unbolt it from the engine, it's also straightforward. It's two bolts, mine were 13 millimeter. They're up there right by the dipstick where it's poking down. You just unbolt those, the whole thing falls right out. I had to use a rubber mallet to tap out the old pickup line. And then I just put a little bit of RTV on the old pickup line before I put it into the new oil pump. Tapped it in there again, line up this bracket with the hole, and then you're good to go on that. Make sure you take note of the indication of this little gear. It's got to be oriented in the same way as the one that came out so that it'll slide up in there properly. Otherwise, you'll just have to twist this around and wiggle it. So, now the only other thing I'm going to do, I cleaned this tube out with acetone and brake clean and got my pan and the bottom of the engine block as clean as possible. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart or take off this cover over here for the oil pump and I'm going to pack it full of Vaseline just to help create some suction when I fire this thing up. I wasn't originally planning on changing the oil filter right now, but since there was so much sludge in the in the bottom of the engine and the engine pan, I am going to change the oil filter and get brand new oil to fill this up with. I wanted to spend as little money as possible on this before, you know, once I heard the engine run with oil pressure. I didn't want to be doing oil changes and stuff like that, but I will replace the oil filter. So for now, I've got a Felpro gasket. All my bolts are sitting over there. I will put the oil, I'm gonna fill the oil pump with Vaseline. Then I'm gonna hook it back up to the engine block. And then I'm gonna slide the pan back in there with the new gasket, the pan sitting over there. Button everything up, I'll let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow I will grab a new oil filter. We will get six quarts of some 10 weight 30 in this thing and we'll fire it up see what happens okay i forgot to mention i pulled the dash the cluster out of this one swapped it into a different renix era jeep and put that one's cluster into here so i know for f a fact that the gauge cluster that is in this jeep right now has um it, the, the oil the gauge works for the oil pressure because it shows oil pressure on my other jeep now the sending unit on this one could be bad but um i know that the dash that i pulled out of this also worked because i put it in the other jeep and now it's showing so basically uh we may have a bad sender but i'll know if the engine is still rattling insanely loud like it was before and i'll see if i can get it on camera petroleum jelly for the win Pack it in there. Okay, we have the pan as cleaned out as possible. I've got a little bit of RTV on this side and the block side because I wasn't able to get it incredibly clean because there was years of a uh, fossilized old gasket. But we have the Felpro gasket sitting here, and then we've got the little um, I don't know little plastic things the holders there's one here and there's two up at the front i only got three out of four in you just put them in the corners that are the half inch size bolts and that you're you're able to slide those up over and then there's a ridge and it won't let the pan fall so once you get everything lined up you just push it up on there and it holds it in place and then you can uh go through and line up and 
get all, all your other bolts set in place without having to hold this thing or use two people so it makes it pretty darn convenient. Okay. The oil pan gasket is in. That one's not the most fun, but everything's buttoned back up there. Okay, let's give it a go here. better and we've got oil pressure wow that sounds much better and uh, I want to show you the gauge we've got plenty of oil pressure now It's like 60 pounds oil pressure. Alternator's not charging. Temp gauge is coming up because there's zero uh, coolant.